Peep Leather Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at Purple Butterfly Dash People dot Blackspot dot com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps can be located at People dot Etsy dot com. And I made a new scent called Cherry Lavender. I literally took part lavender and part cherry and mixed the two together. And I figured, okay, purple and pink. So I was going to do a um, peacock swirl, and then I said, no, I've done enough peacock swirls. So what I did was, because um, by that time I had already started mixing the color in a uh, squeeze bottle, so I decided to just leave it at those two colors. I shook it up, and the base of the soap is white, and I took the squeeze bottles and turned it upside down and just did a drop swirl type filio with the squeeze bottles. One color went cross-hatching the other color in pink and then purple, and then I did that layers, and... Basically, I did drop swirl. I just did it by a different technique. Instead of dropping the colors from high up from three different bottle, uh, three different bu um, buckets, I used two bottles and a bucket. Then I took the comb for the um, peacock swirl, went through it once, and took a skewer and just kind of played around with it, and it looked really really cute but now it's going to look even cuter to be mm. now it's going to look even cuter because by now it's hit gel stage and all the purple and pink that was all you see now you can see the white coming through as well so I'm going to go cut that first I'm going to finish vaping because well this is the way I smoke a cigarette now and when I'm in the soap lab Gloves are on, the mask are on, so forth and so on. So, you know. And update my hair. Isn't that cute? This was all done freehand without um, a comb. And my hair was still primarily straight at the time I did it. So, of course... It got wet the other day because of the rain and all that in Cincinnati, Ohio, and it started shrinking, which curly hair does. But if your hair is stretched and braided and then you wet it, the shrinking feels like this. So it's pulling quite a bit. So I'm going to take a break down, braid it back up slightly looser, take another break down, braid it back up slightly looser, so that way I don't feel like I'm getting an instant face lift like this. <laughs> yeah, I find that funny. Anyway, don't forget to stay tuned for the Cherry Lavender video. This is going to be really, really interesting because it's changed color four times while I was watching it. I mean, when I first poured it, it looked one color. When it hit gel stage, it looked another color. Um, by the end of gel stage, it was a third color. And when I peeked at it five minutes ago, whole another color. But by now, it's cooling off and everything, and it's time to cut it. So we'll see how it looks. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and stay blessed now. Bye, man.